Thank you very much for the very interesting talk. And so we have almost 30 minutes for discussion. So that if you if you have the comments or questions from the audience, please raise your hand if you have so that then the IT team will uh, invite you to the uh, question. Or also you can uh, put, you can simply type your question in the in the Q and A form. So so please uh, raise your, your hand or uh, type your question. Anyway, I will ask a question to, to uh, Dr. Barrow. Uh, thank you very much. It's a really interesting talk. So that it also we are, I'm working on the ammonia hydrogen frame as well. And uh, we are also uh, observed some similar results, uh, even if the amino velocity of, of the ammonia hydrogen is similar with, uh, is missing, but the frame characteristics are different. I assume that the one reason is that the hydrogen in uh, pre behaves a very important role in ammonia hydrogen frame and also pure, even if the ammonia pure, pure, pure ammonia frames the hydrogen product a huge amount of hydrogen is produced in the reacting zone how do you think about the importance of the hydrogen or h2 or hydrogen radical in ammonia or ammonia hydrogen frame um, well, well cl clearly, uh, the hydrogen itself uh, is um, uh, the, the main player in terms of uh, differential diffusion. Um, the hydrogen radical, uh, I, I think, uh, from my understanding of, of uh, work that's been done at DNS, doesn't really transport very far before it reacts. Um, so the, uh, the transport uh, of H2 is prim primarily what's uh, driving the, the diff large differences that you see in, in say, major species. Um, yeah, and, uh, and I think probably also uh, the, the differences, uh, as I understand the differences that you see in, in um, say, laminar flame thermodiffusive instabilities and the, uh, the effects that you see in, in, uh, in, in laminar and, and also uh, relatively low, low level turbulent flames uh, that are at low Lewis number. Uh, there's been uh, a lot of work with uh, low Lewis number flames um, and, and I think uh, much is understood about that already. Uh, yeah. Something that, that I'm curious about and maybe, maybe uh, some of the people uh, here with more experience uh, on the kinetic side uh, can help um, explain to me whether we should uh, expect that there's uh, additional uh, there are additional things that happen in ammonia flames um, that that reinforce this uh, effect of hydrogen and reinforce the uh, the, the resistance to uh, blowout uh, in terms of the kinetics the difference in kinetics being between uh, ammonia and say uh, hydrocarbon flame Yes, thank you. And uh, uh, something that can put, okay. Okay. Professor, uh, Dr. Akihiro. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is Mani ah. from KAUST. Okay, please. Question, please. Yeah, you, you can. Okay, my question is, uh, for, for Professor Kobayashi uh, regarding the ammonia spray uh, in this world combustor. So actually, I'm, I'm interested to know, uh, I'm not, again, I'm not expert in spray physics, but uh, why is, both the ammonia pretty much evaporate very quickly as soon as, as soon as it exits the nozzle, given high temperature in the, in the combustor. And so what is really the importance of, say, droplet lifetime and uh, evaporation in, in uh, Uh, okay, uh, Mani, thank you for your question. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, thank you. And it's of course, it is the uh, due to the some difference in thermal properties uh, between the uh, ordinary hydrocarbon liquid fuel and ammonia. Yeah, ammonia is basically gas fuel when you use this, like uh, 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 LPG or propane or something. 
the summary properties are almost the same as the or the propane. So it likes just like the spraying the uh, liquid propane to the environment. Yeah. And also propane is also very large or uh, latent heat. Ammonia is also very large latent heat. So uh, I have ever seen, I have not seen before that the people uh, who use the propane spray combustion in uh, 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 IC engine or engine because the propane, when, when the uh, uh, Propane or spray is used for uh, uh, high pressure or the uh, uh, internal combustion engine. The pressure is high and the suit is formed a lot. So uh, many people don't want to use the propane for uh, the or the spray combustion in uh, gas turbine or something. But ammonia can be used because there is no uh, suit formations. Very clean frame is formed. So that is a possibility, very strong possibility to use the ammonia spray frame for the engine frame, engine combustion in many, many places, even in a, a ordinary pressure of the furnace or something to, uh, to reduce the cost of the uh, uh, instrumental and the facilities. Okay, that is the, basically the difference in the summer properties. Okay, in the ch in chat in chat form, there, there are some questions. So the this is from uh, Augustin Barry Media to, to Professor Kobayashi. So the his question is: Japan is at the forefront of the use of ammonia combustion. Industries are jumping on the train of development. From your point of view, which is the next field where we will see the use of ammonia com combustion? Domestic oh. heat, aerospace, or air, etc. So in, in, other countries, in other countries, or Japan, I, uh, maybe uh, this is your your point of view. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So first thing is that uh, the government want to use the ammonia as a, 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 a carb, uh, decarbonization carbonization or not. And uh, in uh, Europe, I think the, the, our, the hydrogen is a major fuel for decarbonization. But Japan, due to the cost, as I explained that, the uh, first choice now, the government consider the first choice is ammonia, actually. But of course, there is uh, some uh, uh, debate over the which is better than ammonia or is hydrogen. But now the uh, government is uh, has a lot of interest in ammonia to use the uh, for decarbonization, especially for the power generation. So, uh, the uh, in a next field, next field, it is interesting, uh, but of course it depends on the countries. And in Japan, we are now try to use the ammonia for industrial furnaces. Of course, the uh, maritime engine is uh, another uh, uh, use uh, of direct combustion of ammonia, but already in uh, Europe, the uh, 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 maritime engine industry is now uh, 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 going, moving forward to develop the ammonia uh, or diesel engines for maritime engines. So the man is announced that in a, within a two years, it is produced uh, uh, the uh, ammonia diesel engine for practical use. So, uh, but I'm not sure that they already solved the old problems or issue to utilize ammonia. I don't know, but in Japan, we are now also doing that something about that, that uh, 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 ammonia or maritime engines. And also, uh, vehicles for bus and trucks. This is another choice because uh, uh, the ammonia can be used in a very control the other uh, area or control the, uh, the system uh, because ammonia is something like uh, toxic in in some cases and the smell very much. So the uh, 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 development of the uh, 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 engines, uh, reciprocal engines, is another choice. But uh, yeah, actually are industrial furnaces and the maritime engines and the engines for uh, 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 
transportation or something. But aerospace, in a UK, there is a, a, a the project, but the uh, uh, the companies, uh, not the big companies, to use the uh, ammonia for aerospace propulsion system. But uh, I'm not positive to that <laughs> because an oxide emission can be reduced from the uh, the uh, only the gas turbine. Uh, we need to the uh, uh, post processing to reduce the NOx emissions for environment. So I'm I'm not positive to use right, the ammonia for aerospace. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, mm. yes. And the the. Oh, sure. Okay. Next next question is uh, to the professor Kobashi. Did you investigate the effect of secondary air mixing on NOx emission in the in the RQL combustor gas turbine in terms of injection angle, velocity, or, or extra? Secondary injection, you mean? Se I, I mean, yeah, sec secondary air mixing. The, you mean the sec uh, the secondary uh, zone? Oh, I see. The combustion. Okay. This is a bit good, good question. So from our, our understandings that uh, there should be the rich regions, even though it is a global region, but even in the small region, if there is a rich region in the combustors and uh, there will be uh, the two stage combustion can be realized. The, actually, the, uh, uh, the success in the IHI cooperation in two megawatt gas turbine they use the uh, after injection of the ammonia. So in that case, the, uh, the, of course, the, uh, how strong the ammonia injected to the uh, secondary zone or something, but uh, that injection ammonia forms the uh, rich region and then uh, NOx is reduced and then the downstream, the uh, burnt gas is mixed with the uh, air or something. So there is another way uh, to the secondary injection to do the NOx emission in a gas turbine combust and the other and or other applications. So that is the important point. So uh, the, the making that uh, rich region in a combustor is the most important things for any combustor. Okay, thank you. So the next question is Dr. Somaronate from, <laughs> from Japan and uh, to the Dr. Barrow. So in being NH3H2 frames, N2O emission is unacceptably high. Then how use lean NH3H2 frames in the practical combustion engines? Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a very appropriate question. Um, and, and the answer is uh, you probably wouldn't. Uh, so the... The reason for looking at uh, these, say, lean, uh, lean blowout uh, is mainly to be able to understand the uh, process uh, um, in terms of the, the fundamental terminal combustion process and to use that information to test uh, combustion models um, and to be sure that the combination of the treatment of, say, differential diffusion um, the kinetic mechanisms that are in there uh, and other aspects of the turbulent com combustion models are adequate uh, or ca capturing enough of the physics to be able to predict correctly this blowout process. Um, and, and then you, you uh, also train on, on other, uh, other types of uh, canonical flames and uh, with that sort of uh, testing, um, have greater confidence in the ability to uh, to go to a more practical type of combustion system where you'd have, say, a rich, uh, lean, um, dual-stage uh, combustor um, that would be much more complicated geometrically, probably much more uh, difficult to uh, to get detailed measurements in, um, but uh, and much more practical in terms of uh, the actual uh, application that, that we would want to, to have in mind. Thank you. Maybe uh, some uh, people are invited to the to ans answer the presenters directly.
えー、っと、そう、ドクター・ゼウェイさん、is in the, in the panelist, panelist room, not? Okay, maybe I will read the questions. What、oh, I... are the, oh, oh, What are the potential methods to increase thermal radiation heat transfer from ammonia H2 frames? Thanks.、Mm -hmm. So that maybe, probably the Professor Kobayashi、uh, yes. mentioned that the radiation is an、uh, important issue for ammonia utilization.、Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. Actually, the,、uh, the ammonia combustion, the,、uh, the CO2 is not produced. So,、uh, only the H2O is produced. And、uh, H2O is a radiative species. So, the, the、uh, one thing is that to increase the temperature. But if, when the temperature is increased, the uh, molecular uh, a number density of the molecular in the, are,、uh, and the control volume is decreased. So, Only the temperature is not a good choice to increase the radiation heat transfer. So,、uh, I think that how to increase the number density of a radiative species, that is the H2O. So, one thing is to inject the H2O with、uh, oxygen and increase the temperature and increase the number density of a radiative species, H2O. That is the, uh, uh, reasonable to understand that. So, recycling of the burnt gas H2O is another s o u r So, something like the mild combustion is a, a good choice to increase the radiation heat transfer. Thank you. And then maybe next question is from Professor Masuri. So, Masuri, Professor Masuri is on the panelist room. So, Professor Masuri, could you? Thank you, Professor、uh, Hayakawa. And I'd like to、uh, take this opportunity also to thank the organizers for putting up such a,、uh, such a good show. I think this is a、uh, timely and excellent workshop in the footsteps, of course, of the TNF. And it's,、uh, and, uh, it's, it's, it's obviously it's responding to a significant interest in both ammonia as well as hydrogen. The question is to Professor Kobayashi.、Um, Uh, and that's with regard to the NOx emission levels、uh, in the case of the spray combustion, whether these are different from,、uh, from the gaseous combustion case or not, and so why. And maybe I have another question with respect to the spray characteristics. I know、um, there was already one question on that, but the,、uh, I understand the flash evaporation、um, uh, that's taking place there, but I wonder if. How is that going to be affected when you move to high pressure environments?、Mm -hmm. Okay.、Uh, first, as for the first questions, and the、uh, NOx emission is, I think, the, basically the, almost the same as the gas ammonia combustion. Actually, the,、uh, yeah,、uh, NOx emission, even for the fuel NOx, that it is temperature dependent. So, the,、uh, the, a little bit lower temperature of the spray flame of、uh, ammonia uh, spray combustion makes the、uh, maximum NOx emission is a little bit lower. But the most important thing is that there exists the minimum, so optimum equivalence ratio、uh, when the,、uh, uh, 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 the combustors are local, the、uh, equivalence ratio is a little bit higher in that. And、uh, that In our experimental result, uh, uh, the, uh, the existence of the optimum equivalence ratio is almost the same as that gas ammonia frame. So, if the, the、uh, optimum equivalence ratio is uh, 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 realized in the combustors, we can use the two stage combustor to reduce the、uh, NOx emission from the burner. So, I think there are no particular d i f f e r e n c e between the gas ammonia frame and、uh, a spray ammonia frame in terms of NOx emission. But most important point is N2O emission. So, uh, 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 as I told at the end of my presentation, the, uh, the just after the、uh, sprays,、uh, the temperature decreases almost minus 30 or 40 uh, uh, degrees Celsius. And If this region 
it continues uh, somewhere around the, uh, the uh, Bana, the wall or the liners of the, uh, the Gustavo and Combustas. The NHL is it's generated there and uh, reduction of NHL does not proceed. So NHL is re uh, reduced from the Bana directly. So the, the low temperature region uh, should be uh, challenges for us to uh, decrease the NHL emission in the uh, uh, ammonia spray combustion. And uh, well, uh, as for the an another question, the how the spray are, are, uh, is different in high pressure in the case of the ammonia, uh, liquid ammonia spray. Yes, we should understand that, that first we should know that uh, what is the pressure? For example, the pressure of the combustor is uh, less than or uh, 10 atmosphere or not. There exists the, uh, the flash boiling. But if the, temp the temperature the pressure is uh, over the uh, 10 atmosphere, so the ammonia will, ammonia spirit will behave, behave like uh, ordinary hydrocarbon liquid fuel. So uh, we can understand the way we see that the summary property of the liquid ammonia, depending on the temperature and the pressures and something. So, uh, so I think that for large scale or the high pressure gas turbine uh, combustors for IGC uh, gas turbine combined cycle, something that pressure is at 20 atmosphere or 30 atmosphere, there is no particular difficulty in the difference in the spray uh, conditions and because the uh, flash boiling doesn't occur, so, um, occur. But even though that, the large latent heat is still exists in even high pressure. So uh, 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 we, sh uh, we should be very much careful to uh, uh, think about that to the, uh, this uh, 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 local temperature decrease when we use that ammonia spray combustion, even in high pressure. Uh, but high pressure, the flash boiling doesn't uh, the effect so much uh, about the, uh, the uh, conversion of the, uh, the gas turbines or something. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, next, okay. Miss Mo Mohan, are you? Mr. Mohan, can you, you are now the panelist, so you can uh, unmute, unmute and uh, Can I hear me? So now Namohan is the now panelist, so you can unmute and you can ask to the presenters. I can read that the uh, the question yeah. from if you use ammonia in the marine engines, uh, NOx cannot be avoided. So only the way to remove the NOx is to use the secondary catalytic reactors. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, we know that uh, the basically the control of the NOx emission of a reciprocal engine is very difficult because the residence time of the restored engine is very very short. When we use it ammonia for uh, gas turbine, yeah, it is not short, but we can control that the uh, flow field and the resistance time in the burner. So the, we know that uh, when the resistance time increases, the uh, NOx concentration decreases. That is the uh, particular feature of the ammonia combustion. But in the reciprocal engines, the uh, resistance time is very short and the NOx is still, uh, the fuel NOx at a higher level exhausted 
uh, uh, directory. So I think the the uh, uh, that this uh, SCR, even though it's a large, but SCR should be used for uh, the maritime engines. But I think the uh, 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 the uh, maritime engine or the large uh, uh, ocean ship has the uh, space to uh, include uh, uh, the uh, SCL system. So I think it is not so difficult uh, to, to uh, use the uh, uh, SCL in a ship compared to the, uh, the aviation <laughs> jet engine. So ammonia right now used to jet engine. So I think the SCL should be used, but even though we need to reduce the NOx emission from the engine uh, directly emitted from the engine. The combustion research is essential for uh, this uh, 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 um, uh, engine engine research. Yeah. Okay. The another question is also uh, to the Professor Kobayashi from from Russia. The are there ongoing studies on the impact of using SCR on the cost and operating ranges of NH3 fueled gas turbine? I see. Okay. Uh, many people say that the technology of SCR is already established. We have a very uh, high performance SCR system and the temperature range will be uh, decreased. So I think that there is no problem to using the CR the downstream of the ammonia combustors. But uh, we should think about how to reduce the N2O. The N2O catalysis needs a little bit higher temperature range and uh, that is a little bit higher cost. So uh, the total decrease of the NO, NO2, and N2O, we need to think about that the uh, total system, inc including the uh, 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 secondary ammonia injection and uh, uh, heat uh, control of the total system. But basically, SCL system has already established a technology. Okay, thank you very much. So although it's time to close this session, but there are uh, still a lot of questions in the Q&A form. So I if uh if we uh so I will continue this session, okay, Professor Kobayashi and Dr. Rob Barrow, I will. So the next professor next question is uh, to Dr. Barrow, what sort of energies were required for LIF fluorescence for NH three, NH and NO? How how applicable are they to high speed diagnostics? Uh, Dr. Barrow, are you, could you unmute, please? Sorry about that. Um, I, 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 I'm not sure uh, because I haven't done high-speed high diagnostics myself, but I suspect the, that, that it's uh, something that's quite reasonable because the wavelength is something that's uh, not, not too far at all from that used for OH. Uh, so it'd be similar sorts of uh, dyes um, and I think the, uh, the system that was used by uh, Bujau, and he may be in the audience and, and could uh, uh, clarify this uh, or, or contact you uh, separately. Um, the system he used was a, a pretty uh, standard 10 hertz uh, YAG pumped uh, dilator system uh, for the, those uh, experiments that I showed. Uh, I don't ha actually have the energies uh, available. He didn't include that information, I don't believe, on the slide that uh, I extracted uh, my images from. Um, but I, I suspect that it's something that could be done. Uh, I, I hope so, because I think it would be very, uh, very interesting. Uh, there was one other question uh, a little while back um, about uh, uh, from Hao Tang uh, about the uh, asking me the comment on the role of DNS uh, in terms of chemistry reaction of uh, turbine flames um, uh, and also uh, about machine learning. Um, and, and I'll just answer briefly that I think uh, DNS is uh, tremendously important uh, and valuable uh, in understanding uh, some of these detailed uh, interactions uh, because really you, you have everything if, uh, in the calculation, uh, assuming that the, the mechanism is correct. So that's something that, that uh, has to be uh, uh, looked at uh, and selected carefully. 
the limitation on DNS uh, for some of the things that, that I was talking about is that it's, it's uh, very difficult to do DNS uh, across uh, ranges of parameters. Um, at Reynolds numbers that are, are high enough to be, uh, I think, uh, appropriate for uh, cases that, that are going to be used to test models. Um, so that, that's the, uh, they're, they're complementary uh, values uh, in terms of the, the, what you get from DNS and what you can get from experiments. Uh, I think both are very important. Thank you. The next question is to Professor Kobayashi. As far as I know, for the utilization of hydrogen, Jap Japan is planning to use hydrogen powered ship to transport hydrogen. Professor just ans answered just that ammonia is considered as a potential potential fuel for marionette engines. Then which fuel is more promising for the fuel fuel transportation by a shipping in your viewpoint? H2 or ammonia? Okay. Um Yeah, yeah, you know, well, about the uh, Japanese uh, 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 strategy to utilize uh, or the hydrogen and ammonia. Uh, uh, and there are the two uh, way to decarbonization using the uh, carbon-free fuel. One is, the, of course, hydrogen, especially the liquid hydrogen. The other is the liquid ammonia. So, but as I told, and uh, as I uh, showed in uh, my presentations, the uh, cost of the uh, transportation of hydrogen, a difference in the cost of transportation of hydrogen and ammonia is quite different. The uh, transportation cost of hydrogen almost five or six times than the uh, ammonia. So that is the big issue that we cannot solve for 30 years. So that's why the ammonia appeared the uh, 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 appeared as uh, uh, the solution of uh, uh, decarbonization fuel. So, of course, the companies, Japanese companies, especially the Kawasaki heavy industries, uh, uh, has a long history on, on hydrogen use and liquid hydrogen transportation and hydrogen gas turbine. Uh, but uh, yeah. We are now doing the, a lot of, in, in, in many directions of the, uh, the uh, transportation with hydrogen and energy carriers. Hydrogen is uh, one choice, but uh, in terms of the total cost and uh, the many of the uh, big companies in Japan are thinking about the utilization of ammonia, including a uh, transportation from other countries. Yeah, so uh, I, I, I cannot say about that, that hydrogen is not good, but actually when you see about the total cost, uh, ammonia is better choice. That's why the many companies are, of course, marine transport companies to, to uh, enhance the utilization of the ammonia and diesel engines and uh, for uh, maritime engines. So, uh, that is maybe one of the questions, uh, answer to the questions, if it's okay. Okay, thank you. The, another two question is also to Professor Kobayashi. The first one is the, did you investigate ah, is yes. the, okay. Did you investigate the air penetration length effect in the primary zone or NOx emission for premix ammonia frames? Probably yeah, this penetration, is, okay. Yeah, penetration length effect. You mean that the uh, primary zones are basically ditch, but uh, in some cases the uh, air is uh, are, uh, injected from, uh, through the uh, the fall uh, of the uh, uh, liners or the gas turbine or something. I think I think so. The how the uh, the mixture yeah. air. Yeah affects the emissions on the two-stage combustion. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, in gas turbine combustors, there is uh, some slit. Even though we want to reduce the entrainment of the uh, air from through the, uh, the slit of the uh, uh, liners, small amount of oxygen or air is 
uh, uh, get into the primary zone. The, that is the very bad uh, because uh, uh, in the primary zone, if when the uh, air is uh, uh, included, that we cannot control that the uh, uh, equivalence ratio of the primary zone. So in our procedure of the, or the development of a micro -castabine, we shut almost all the uh, streets and the holes in the primary zone. So uh, that is the, that was the important, the uh, technolo technological uh, 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 effort uh, for us to uh, reduce the uh, air uh, uh, entrainment in the, uh, the primary zone. So I think the, uh, yeah, to keep the uh, the equivalence ratio of the primary zone about 1.1 or something, if you can control that to the primary zone very precisely, uh, you should think about that uh, how to inject the air in the primary zone. But uh, basically, it is very difficult to control that. Uh, uh, the, uh, if there is a very small suite or something, uh, uh, basically, it is there is a small suite or something to. Uh, it, uh, it's coming into the first uh, primary zone. Okay, the second question is that... Uh, yeah, um, second question is that according to the Gibbs free energy, the ammonia oh. combustion pro pro products are only N2 and water. What's yeah. the reason we get much NOx emissions? What are oh. the potential solutions to make the combustion closer to the Gibbs re reaction route? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that the, the gives uh, the free energy is uh, important to is made the uh, the uh, equilibrium conditions of the uh, 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 products. Uh, why the ammonia <laughs> uh, frame uh, emitted a large amount of fuel NOx? Uh, this is the uh, 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 particular uh, effect of the uh, chemical kinetics and uh, um, the uh, chemical reaction time of ammonia. So uh, uh, fuel NOx is produced uh, very close to the, uh, the heat release zone and becomes very higher and decreases very gradually. Uh, and uh, for a long time, it takes a long time, uh, several meters per, or, or some, something, it depends on the pressure and temperature. So gradually decrease uh, uh, and reach to the equilibrium state that, the, uh, that is, uh, uh, gives free en energy uh, is, uh, is made the uh, um, equilibrium state. So the, so in a combustor, the length of the combustor is very limited. That's why the high amount of the uh, uh, NOx is emitted from combustors. So as I said in the previous question that the residence time is important. Uh, that is, that does mean, uh, it means that, uh, that we need a wrong, wrong uh, length to reduce the uh, NOx to the equilibrium. So uh, that is the, uh, uh, big uh, challenges for us to how to design the combustor. But this uh, uh, condition, this uh, feature is good for very large furnaces like uh, 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 industrial furnace or power is called uh, power generation boilers. The, that is a very huge volume and the residence time is very large. So uh, NOx, NOx concentration decreases and it's very close to the equilibrium. So that is the lower than the, uh, the mesonia frame. So ammonia can be used a very large or uh, volume of the com, uh, uh, areas like uh, furnaces and the boilers. So uh, uh, the reason is that the, uh, the length to decrease the uh, 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 NOx concentration and approach to the, uh, the equilibrium state. This is ammonia, uh, particular ammonia feature, combustion feature. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So all the time is already over, so I will close this session. So let's take again to the uh, Professor Kobayashi and Dr. Barrow. Thank you very much for the nice talk. 
So the ne next present next session will start from the uh, to next uh, from 10, 10 30 a.m. in in Saudi Arabian time. Okay, I will close this session. Thank you for your participation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.